Welcome back to Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series on objections to Bayesian epistemology as part of our larger series on Bayesian epistemology as a whole. In this video we're going to be looking at the problem of prediction versus accommodation. Basically, how can we say that a theory that predicts is better than a theory that accommodates? So, Bayesian epistemology fails to distinguish between theories that correctly predict future evidence and theories that are created specifically to accommodate for past events or past evidence. Intuitively, a theory that implies some piece of evidence is true before that evidence has been shown to be true should be more confirmed by that evidence than one that is specifically constructed to accommodate for that evidence. Basically, if a theory guesses that we're going to find something with an experiment, we probably should give that theory more credence, or it should in some way be more confirmed when that experiment eventually shows that evidence to be the case, than another theory that saw that experiment and kind of wrote it in to the theory. However, according to Bayesian epistemology, a theory that is made especially to accommodate for a specific piece of evidence is just as confirmed by that evidence as one that predicted it before it was known to be the case. So let's take a look at a concrete example to really put this into perspective. For example, take the two competing hypotheses, the theory of evolution and the theory of creationism. Imagine that evolution correctly predicts a particular piece of the fossil record. Creationism, after the fossil record is discovered, simply changes their theory to explain it away. Note, of course, these are very much oversimplifications of both of these positions. They're here for the purpose of example, to kind of give you a sense of a way that this could be applied to a specific situation. They're not here to be debated. We're not going to be talking about actual fossil records or the actual words of either theory we're just giving you a general sense. So this, I wouldn't say, is the place to be debating theory of evolution versus theory of creationism. It's just using them as a generalized example. So, intuitively we would think that the theory that predicted the evidence should in some way get more credit, or be more confirmed by its discovery, than the one that accommodated for it after the fact. Yet, according to Bayesian epistemology, they are still equally confirmed, since the discovery of that evidence increases our degree of belief in both of them equally, to the same degree. To illustrate this, imagine that you have a 0.5 degree of confidence in the theory of evolution. You don't know if it's the case or not. There's a specific piece of evidence in the fossil record that the theory of evolution predicts will be there. You have a 0.6 degree of confidence that it will be there, but zero confidence that it could not be there and evolution be correct. Or in other words, evolution entails the specific piece of the fossil record, remembering that entailment just is a zero sitting in the H and not E part of our chart. So basically, your probability table, your degree of beliefs table, would look like this. You would have 0.5 for both H and not H, 0.6 for E, 0.4 for not E, and you have a big zero at H and not E, because you're confident in the entailment that H implies E, or that if evolution were the case, that this piece of evidence would also be the case. We can fill in from this a 0.5 in H and E, a 0.1 in not H and E, and a 0.4 in not H and not E. It should be very clear from this, if you remember our video on confirmation and disconfirmation, that E will confirm H, because it's going to make it much more likely that H than our current situation. But if you want the math, imagine that you come to have that certain degree of belief in E. Note that certainty isn't required for this to work, it just makes the math a little bit easier. Check out Jeffrey conditionalization if you want another sense of ways that things cannot be certain. This would confirm your belief that H by changing your degree of belief in it from 0.5 to 0.5 over 0.6, or about 0.83. Therefore, the evidence in the fossil record confirms your belief in evolution. However, the problem is going to come when we look at a similar example with the theory of creationism. Imagine now that you don't know if creationism is the case or not. You have a 0.5 degree of confidence in creationism. 
This theory has been crafted specifically such that the previously known evidence in the fossil record is implied by it. Imagine that you're unaware of the evidence in the fossil record, but you are aware of that implication, and currently have a 0.6 degree of belief in that evidence's truth. Clearly, your probability table, your degree of belief table, is going to look identical in this case as in the previous one, because we haven't changed the numbers. And similarly, you're going to change your degree of belief if you want to stay inductively rational to 0.83. Once again, in the theory of creationism, even though these theories seem very counter-opposed, because they both implied that piece of evidence, they were both equally confirmed by that piece of evidence, even though one of them predicted it and the other accommodated for it. Bayesian epistemology has no way to deal with theories that predict versus theories that accommodate. To the Bayesian, to one who follows Bayesian epistemology, those two theories are the same. If you have the intuition that theories that predict rather than accommodate, that theories like the theory of evolution that predicts pieces of the fossil record, rather than theories like the theory of creationism that changes its theory when more pieces of information and evidence are discovered, should be more confirmed by the evidence than Bayesian epistemology cannot meet your needs. It's not for you. That was the problem of prediction versus accommodation. Next up, we're going to be looking at the problem of new theories, followed by the problem of the priors. Watch this video and more here at Carnadies.org. Check out the SEP for more information on Bayesian epistemology. This is a complicated topic, and stay skeptical, everybody.